So let's go ahead and clean up the unused code from our application and make sure that we see all of the loading indicators. So it's the same as it was before we started refactoring our application to use MobX. And this is one of my favorite things to do is, is to take all of our unused code and just remove it because we've now got cleaner, leaner React components. So all of these use state methods can now go because of all of our state management is taking place inside our activity store. And we can also remove our agent from this file as well. And we can remove iActivity and the use state and the synthetic events. And our app component now is pretty small. And let's go down to our activity dashboard and see if we've got anything we can remove inside here. And our synthetic event can go as well as the iActivity import as well. Now we're still passing down our selected activity to our activity form from our activity dashboard. And I'm going to leave this as it is for now because this is still coming from our store. And it's only really temporary because when we introduce a router into our solution, then our activity form is not actually going to be a child component anymore. And it's going to be its own standalone component that doesn't receive any properties from anywhere. But for now it's working, so I'm just going to leave this in place as it is. So let's take a look at our activity list, see if we've got anything in here we can clean up. And sure enough, we can remove the iActivity, we can remove the synthetic events. And this looks fine. And let's just take a look at Explorer to see what else we have. Let's take a look at the activity details. And we can also remove our iActivity from this as well. And if we take a look at our form, this is fine. And our navbar, this is also fine. So I'm just going to close all these tabs down and just clean things up inside here. And let's just take a look at the console just to make sure that we got everything there. And if I just refresh the page, then, yep, that looks good. There's no warnings in my console, I can cancel and everything looks good. So we're looking good, but there are some things that we didn't do in MobX that we should really do. And that's to enforce the MobX strict mode. And we're going to talk about that next.